New controversy tonight over what students are being taught in school. A Florida father angry over his son's lessons, saying they are too focused on the Islamic religion. And when the school spokesman was questioned about it, well, wait till you see what he did. Trace Gallagher has the story. Trace? Megan, Ron Wagner is simply asking that his son's school be fair and balanced. In other words, if you teach Islam, you should give equal time to other religions. The debate is in Seminole County, Florida, just outside Orlando, where Mr. Wagner complained about a world history assignment on Islam. Listen. We are requiring our kids in our public schools to learn Islamic prayers and what would be the equivalent of the Jewish and the Christian Ten Commandments, something called the Five Pillars of Islam. Reciting the first pillar requires students to say there is no true God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The school told the Wagners that the pillars of Islam are benchmarks in state curriculum, yet the class had no discussion about Christianity or Judaism, because those religions, the school says, are taught in earlier grades, and by the way, the first 100 pages of the textbook dealing with those religions are missing. The district blames a manufacturing defect. When an Orlando TV reporter asked the school about the apparent lack of balance, it didn't go well. Listen. I resent your tone, first of all. Secondly, um, and, and the way it's being asked in an excusatory way. This, by the way, is the same textbook that dozens of other Central Florida parents protested 15 months ago. At least then, the book had all of the pages. But there were still only passing references to Christianity and other religions. The protests went nowhere, and the book remained. But now, the Seminole County School District will reconsider the book when the contract is up in three years. By the way, the Council on American-Islamic Relations believes that parents are overreacting to these books. Mm. Megan. Trace, good to see you.